Captain Pugwash was expecting an important visitor aboard the Black Pig, none other than the Duchess of Cheddar. I wonder if you'd take me to the island of Rumbaba. Pottering turtles, your duchess ship. I'd like to help, but we don't carry passengers. It's a very short journey. I'd be frightfully grateful. But the seas between here and Rumbaba are thick with pirates. Brigands like Cutthroat Jake. You're not frightened, Captain. Crumbling crustaceans. What an idea. I simply have no plans to visit Rumbarbar at present. Speaking of presents, I would, of course, be willing to pay a generous. Oh, I say. When was it you wanted to leave? Oh. I don't see why we have to move out of here. So the Duchess can have suitable accommodation. No good will come of this. Mark my words. We'll be quite comfy on the deck. But there'll be a lady on board. Women at sea. It's terrible bad luck. <laughs> oh, no. That's Cutthroat Jake. Tom! Tom! Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> A duchess, that's almost royalty, and she's chosen the black pig. Captain, about the duchess. Yes, she'll need to eat. Go to the shops and buy some, well, some, some, uh, the, those things the duchesses eat. But, Captain. Off you go. I just saw the duchess on the quayside. Yes, so did I. There's no need to go on about it. Off to the shops and tell Mr. Bate to collect the Duchess's trunks from the Merry Mermaid Inn. Aye, aye, Captain. A brilliant idea, though I says it myself. They carry us on board in these here trunks. And what do we do then, Captain Jack? We wait till the dead of night. Then my ma lets us out, and the Black Pig is ours! There he is! All right, Omar. Inside, everyone. <laughs> Captain Jack, I don't fit in here. Yeah! Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> you knows what to do, Mark. It was me what had the idea. You put three drops of it in Pugwash's cocoa and he'll sleep for a week. <laughs> yes, yes, quick, in your box. Here's all that not to go, your royal highness ship. It is. Then we are pleased to oblige. Willie, Jonah, the lady's trunks. Welcome to the Black Pig, Duchess. We'll stow your luggage and sail for Rambaba without delay. You're very kind, Captain. Oh, Mr. Mate, this box keeps making funny noises. Don't be silly, Willie. I wonder. Tom, don't just stand there. Get these trunks accommodated. <laughs> just to be on the safe side, I'll put the Duchess's <laughs> chests in here and put the blanket boxes in the Duchess's cabin. Far out to sea, the mate, Jonah and Willie, were still complaining bitterly about their new passenger, but Captain Pugwash was delighted by her company. I'm sure that we've met somewhere before. Your face is so familiar. No, I'm sure I would have remembered someone as distinguished as yourself. Or Blamange, Duchess. Oh, I couldn't, Captain. I have one small request before I retire to my boudoir. Would you allow me to make you a cup of cocoa? No, no. Tom makes the cocoa. Not the way I do. <laughs> I won't take no for an answer, Captain. <laughs> she don't sound Dutch, does she? Oh. The Duchess. Go to sleep, Willie. Well, I just sort of know. Shh. Shh. No good will come of it. Mark my words. Is it ready yet? I've made it like I always do. Good. Now I add the special ingredient. Five, no, ten. Oh, let's be generous. Half a bottle. What is it? Promise you won't tell a soul. It's Essence du Chocolat from France. Would you like to try some? Oh, no. The captain will want it all for himself. Shall I take it to him? Yes. You're such a polite and helpful boy. I'm feeling quite exhausted by the sea air. I shall retire for the night. I think the captain might prefer his cocoa without the special ingredient. Ten minutes, and that old fool Pugwash will be out for the count. <laughs>
The Duchess made this, did she? Yes, Captain. <laughs> Delicious. I know you do your best, Tom, but this cocoa has polish, cultivation, sophistication. <laughs> Good night. Sleep well. I've got a feeling I won't get much sleep. What is happening? Willie is with the blanket again. I've had enough of this. Go to the storeroom and get some more blankets. Oh, but it's dark and scary down there. We'll take a candle. Will you come with me? Oh, no. Not me. Who knows what might happen with a woman on board? Off you go. And leave that blanket. Nighty night, Captain. By the time you wake up, your ship's going to have a new captain, and it's time to let him out. <laughs> What's taking Willie so long? Wakey, wakey, Jakey. Jake? Jake! Oh. 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 I don't like the dark. Now, what was it we wanted? Um, well, it must have been something. Uh, blankets. Where do we keep the blankets? In the... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Willie! What's all this noise about? Help! There's an abomination. A monster. With stranger. And a black beard. Jake, don't worry, your ladyship. I'll protect you from these blackguards and villains. Glad to hear you've been getting on so well with my ma. Your mother? Shivering sharks, don't be ridiculous. She's a duchess. Not anymore, I'm not, ducky. <laughs> you gonna make him walk the plank, Jakey? He'll make a lovely big splash. No, I want to maroon him on Rumbarber Island and leave him there to suffer horribly. And all his crew, too. Only if that's what you like, your ladyship. It is. You're my favourite, Jinky Winky. Don't call me that in front of my crew. <laughs> it's not funny! Clap them in irons. I said it from the start. No good would come of it. We all knew that. I knew that woman wasn't to be trusted. I blame... Um, Tom! It's all his fault. Why is it all his fault, Captain? Because it is. <laughs> More bubble and squeak. <laughs> Duchess. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Who'll go, anyone? Me first. What's the plan now? The plan? Or escaping and fighting Captain Jake and repossessing the ship. We could dig a tunnel. No! no! We mustn't do anything hasty. After all, we've already been badly let down by young Tom. He's behind the whole thing. I've come to let you out. But what about Katra Jake? He's asleep. Him and all his crew. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, don't worry. They won't wake up for some time. The Duchess did ask us to take her and her luggage to Rob Barber. It's only fair that we do as she wanted. Uh, Captain. Tom, if this is one of your silly ideas. I just thought if Jake and his crew are here, but the Flying Dustman and all Jake's treasure must be in Portobello, with no one looking after this. The Duttering Starfish. <laughs> of course, I had thought no. of that. Pull yourself together, Willie. We're going back to Portobello. While the black pig sailed far away, Jake and his crew slept on and on. By evening, Captain Pugwash had all Jake's treasure safely stowed in his cabin. Oh, 
Tottering turtles. I'm rich. Where? Rich, it was a brilliant plan, an all-round top-hole captaincy, though I say it myself. Yes, Captain, excellent. Tom, where is that boy? Making more cocoa, Captain. Tom knew the Captain would only ever enjoy their own special cocoa. The Duchess's recipe was best kept for cutthroat Jake. Jake. <laughs>